This is Phil Munger in Anchorage at Cafe Del Mundo on Benson with Ray Metcalf, a former legislator who's known primarily for being a person who believes that we deserve our fair share of the oil wealth in Alaska. And uh, he's been prepared, more prepared than most people, for the passage of Senate Bill 21. And it's going to take on the new Corrupt Bastards Club with a combination of initiative and initiative and referendum. And referendum. Take it away, Ray. Uh, Phil, when you look at uh, what these people have done, uh, we've got senators that are sitting there and they, stay, they, 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 sit, they sit there and stare at their shoes when we ask them why we should give them more than they're already making. They're making $28, $29 off of every barrel of Alaskan oil. They don't make those kind of profits off of a barrel of oil anywhere else in the world. Um, all of the companies doing business on the slope have either offered to or won contracts in Iraq for profits of less than $4 a barrel, $2 a barrel, uh, in many cases one fourteenth of what we pay them. Uh, they don't make that kind of profit anywhere else in the world. And for some reason, some people think we need to be more competitive. And when you put the facts on the table in front of these senators, and they stand there and stare at their shoes and they don't give you a straight answer, you know that something else is incentivizing them to do whatever they're doing. And it has nothing to do with anything honorable. In any case, uh, we wrestled control of our legislature from the oil companies in uh, 2006 with the help of the FBI. And this time that we do it again, and we do it at this time hopefully a little more forcefully and uh, provide them with something they can remember in the future. It's my intent to participate in an initiative that will put ACES back into place of the current tax system and uh, that it will be retroactive to the day that uh, the governor's bill took, took effect, recovering the, the money lost. It's my intention to be part of a, a referendum, which is a, a similar to an initiative, but it's a method by which you just simply repeal what the Senate has done and the state, or the state legislature has done. And uh, should that take effect, then we're back to where we are today. And the other thing I intend to do is participate in a lawsuit, and that lawsuit would raise the question, do our legislators have the right to give away the resources that you and I own together? Can they take those resources and sell them for half price to their best buddies that pay for their campaigns? That's really the question that the court needs to answer, and I believe they cannot. We will seek an injunction for the, uh, I should, should say we're, we're talking to attorneys about the possibility of seeking an injunction to stop this legislation from taking effect in the first place for exactly those reasons. If I were managing your uh, funds on your behalf and I squandered them away, you could sue me. And it really boils down to the same thing. There's a fiduciary responsibility to manage our resources in a, in a manner that you would manage them if they were your very own. And nobody would give their resources away at the prices they're giving them away. Now, you're getting help from legislators who voted against this, I understand, and also other people. Uh, how, how can people who might see this help you to get this initiative and referendum uh, uh, up to muster, signed with enough people on time and, and in front of the voters? Well, it's going to, if we, to do the referendum, we'll have to have. Uh, 10% of the voters sign up on a referendum to re repeal what the legislature has done. We have to have those signatures within 90 days of the uh, day the legislature adjourns, which will take a lot of work. It will take a lot of paid signature gatherers, and so we're going to need help in that regard. And uh, my phone number, by the way, is 907-344-4514. That's 907-344-4514. We can use all the help we can get. And my email, by the way, is r-a-y-i-n-a-k at aol.com. If you're willing to help, we're building the teams right now. And the, one other thing we'll be doing is uh, hopefully we'll be having an, initi an initiative on the ballot that makes it a crime for people with the kinds of conflicts that Kevin Meyer has and uh, the gentleman that got elected without a keen eye that... Uh, Mikuchi. What's his name? I think it's Mikuchi. Mikuchi. Uh, they both work for Conical Phillips. They both gave their employer a giant raise in the amounts uh, in billions, 
And, um, uh, you know, if, if you'd have been a member of Thomas Jefferson's Senate, you couldn't have done that. It would have been a crime. If, you'd have, if you were to uh, vote having that kind of conflict in most states or many states, it's a crime. And here, uh, they come up with all kinds of excuses to, uh, to, to sidestep those conflicts and vote anyway, and it's, it's pathetic. And we, need, we need an initiative, the legislature will never do it on, on its own. We need an initiative that makes those kinds of conflicts a crime, a crime to vote when you have that kind of conflict. There are other states that have those kinds of laws on the books. The U.S. Supreme Court has upheld them, and there's no reason we shouldn't be doing it here. This fight would be over if we had that kind of law on the books. That's true. Thank you very much, Ray Metcalf. Thank you.